Here's some more footage of my road to legend. Over here clearing my hard drive. Ran with a lot of guys this weekend and found that there was quite a few people that had some complications with ending games. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple quick tips and some animations you can use to give you that extra confidence you need when the game is on the line, whether it be a fear of shooting or a fear of attacking the basket. Because we've all been there in clutch situations. You win some, you lose some. But hopefully some of these tips can help you actually be more successful with the game on the line. In these gameplays, I'm using the LeBron James Escape Dribble Package. Has a decent explosive behind the back move, but has a really mean step back, which I don't really use too often in, this, in these gameplays today. But I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better at using it more often. As you can see, this game got really close. They put the center on me. I split the defense. Light hesitation, and I'm dunking on them for the win. If you have a high dunk rating and a lot of speed, sometimes all you have to do is delay your dunk just a little bit, and they'll jump ahead of time, and you'll have a wide open finish. In most cases, I'm using that Limitless on gold. Quick drop-ins off one, and I'm blasting towards the rim. If I know you got weak ankles, it's time to stumble you and shoot threes. But here's another game that came down to the wire. 14 to 11, Zay with the ISO and the kill. Now up by one point. We don't switch properly. That's just bad team chemistry. Me and Bizzler haven't ran too often together. Right here, he plays great defense, gets the strip, and he's dunking on him to tie the game. Uh, Down 20 to 17. I tell everybody, don't panic. Let's just get a bucket. Yeah, I want to go shoot the three. Trying to run a pick and roll, pick and pop. Zay with the quick release, misses. Out to the corner, wide open, misses again. Wide open a third time, and he finally knocks it down. 20 to 20, got to play great defense. The pressure's on. Look at Biz with the block. Pass down court, he passes it late. Oh, hit me late. Zay, what are you <laughs> doing? I'll let you kill him. Come up here, okay. come up here and kill him. This is my man's take. Zay with the ISO. Let's see what he got. Doing a little too much with the dribbles. He's got the burn, but he's doing a lot of step backs. Doesn't feel confident, kicks out to me. I'm gonna hit him with the spin move, and I'm dunking on him. Let's go, y'all. GG. I think that's 938. Let's go. Another close game. My man Zay is at level 39, so we got to end it here. So he can hit level 40 and be done with it. Start the game off driving to the rim. They know they can't stop me. I'm open in the corner. If you play good defense, you're going to get a lot of threes. So I don't force up a whole lot of threes in the ISO situation. Unless, of course, I'm playing against somebody that I know has really bad defense. In most cases, they put their best defender on me, and I try to give them hell on that perimeter. This is not a 6'3 guard that can't dunk, obviously. So if I see an opportunity, I'm going to the rack. Zay gets ripped here, 14 to 17. They come down, down by one. After a crazy play, kicking out to Zay wide open, 16 to 17, and he bricks it. But that's all right, he's an elite defender. He's smart enough to know if he reaches from behind here, he can get the steal. He loses the ball again, but recovers it. Launches it down court. I don't have on circus three, so I don't want to take a crazy shot. The dish and the swift assist puts us up by three. Bad defense by Bizzler. Always something, Yo, bro. I got, I got you, bro. Just like that. We're going to get the dub. We're going to just get the dub. End it, end it, end it, end it. This is the game for Zay to hit 40. He just wants me to end it. I got you. Game over. But just give you the dub. We'll get it the next see. Game. Let's go! Mm. Man pulled out the Thor hammer. <laughs> Let's go. Yo! Three days, right? Was it three days? Yeah, three days. Three, three days. Day. Could just take a break, put his feet up, help those that had that need help. You know what I'm saying? Retired. Retired. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. I appreciate everything, bro. For real, for real. Yo, I got you, bro. You guys are in the city this weekend. It's also boot camp. So if you have a build that's a 75 overall and under, you can get into the event center, play against some low overall builds. Expect to run against a few good players that are playing on low overall builds. If I made a new build, this would be a good time to use them and get a lot of his badges. 
As I said, in this gameplay, I'm using the LeBron James Size Up Escape Package because it has a really mean step back. But also, when you do the explosive behind the back animation and you tap down on the right stick, you get some really nice snatch backs. I broke a few people with this animation in this gameplay. There's so much you could do from this animation after an ankle breaker, whether it be going to the rim or shooting a three. There's a lot you can do with it. So yeah, give the LeBron James a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Seems to be a lot you can do with this animation. I'm definitely getting some ankles with it. If I get to like, if I get to level 38, I'll be, I'll be lit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, even if I, if I don't get it, I might get, I might get real close, and then I'll pop that, t that two-hour token, both of them. And this one doesn't come down to the wire, but I'm still gonna finish the game. Instead. I'm gonna do my best to attack the basket and make them believe that I don't want to shoot the three. That's usually what defenders start to think towards the end of the game. If they can't stop me from going to the rack. Oh, they start giving me way too much space. They start whipping that left okay. stick. Leaving themselves wide open for ankle breakers. Right here, my matchup is just lost. So I try to circle back to the three-point line. Usually, that gives me a wide open shot. But for some reason, I think 2K penalizes you and makes you miss those shots every now and then. But I still got the bucket regardless. I'm a much better catch-and-shoot three-point shooter with this build than I am off the dribble. Well, really, that just depends on badges or if my teammates don't bring their man to me. What are you doing? Say you miss his shots and get him blocked. Give me the ball. Just, just spread out. <laughs> Everybody calm down. Just hit him with the boop boop and keep him moving. That's really all you need to do most of the time. Just single out the weakest defender and expose him as many times as possible so you can get the dunk. Sometimes you try to do way too much, trying to look pretty, underestimating the matchup. And before you know it, the game is tied. But we're not gonna let that happen in this game. Shot creating takeover versus shot creating takeover. Game over. <laughs> Y'all gotta, you gotta explain to me like why these guys ain't falling to the ground. But I think it's, I think everybody has high perimeter defense this year. You know, bro. A door on on PlayStation, DF on Xbox. CEO on Xbox. There's a lot of CEO guys. That's the fault. Last game in this video, not playing great defense on that possession. That was a wide open shot, he should have made it. Got in between the passing lane, knocked it loose. Look at this, gets deflected and it's back to him again. That's all right, we're gonna really lock him up this time. Don't try to go to the rim on me. I know better, I made my build with the ability to block shots. <laughs> right here, bad handles with the quick dribble style. That is the only reason I don't use that dribble style as much. It's so fast, but it leaves the ball out there every now and then. Right here, I jump, leaving him wide open, but 2K got him. got him with the same glitch. Ha. They got him with the same glitch. You run back and they don't they they, they penalize you for it. Oh no, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just hoping. Nah, nah, I've been noticing that too. Nah, yeah, I think Shay Ray, because I've been noticing that today. Last like two, three hours, I have been noticing that shit. Good shit. Good job. Man. Look at Zay with a rebound, man. That's what's up. Look at that help. I gotta take the two. Told you, man. I'm late. Yo! <laughs> 14 to 5. My matchup is cold. Got that snowflake. Good pass. Bad defense. Open shot. Good bucket. 8 to 14. Zay to the cup and gets blocked. Somebody tell him two hands for safety. Pump fake going to the rim. I know he can't stop me. Got no defense. The one that you play against them, the easier it is to really guard them because you learn. I'm talking too soon, bro. I'm in the, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. <laughs> hey, look. Bang. Swift assist. My man Monty starting to heat up, giving him way too much space all game. Not, not really respecting his jump shot, but it might be a little too late, though. I know most play shots have incredible perimeter defense but with them little ass arms. They can't stop that behind the back, snatch back, dunk it on them. Now after another bad switch on a three, they go down by three, 17 to 20. There's only one thing left to do. Y'all can't hold me, boy. <laughs> My PS4 Pro used to sound like a damn plane was taking off. No, weird. Weird. <laughs> weird. Xbox got better tech, but I think. I'm about to say my my pro damn my my pro never did it though.
There's always one. There's always one guy. Oh, didn't happen to me. If there ever was a one guy, it would be me. I clean my PlayStation. I unplug my PlayStation every day and clean that shit.